guys, welcome to Chippy Chick. Today I'm sharing with you my review of the Yes 2 Tomatoes Clear Skin for Breakout Prone Skin Impurity Fighting DIY Powder to Clay Mask. <laughs> I got this at Dollar Tree for $1, obviously. And uh, I wanted to put it to the test, see how my skin reacted to it, uh, show you what it looks like and yeah, give you my thoughts about it. I went to CVS and I thought, I thought, I saw this mask for about $1.99 or $2.99. I remember taking a photo when that happened and now I don't know what that photo is, but I wanna say $2.99, so that is crazy. So I got the chance to try this mask for $1. I'm not sure how many uh, Dollar Trees carry these masks. I hear they're not everywhere, so I hope that you can find them. Uh, if not, anyways, if you're curious to try them and wanna pay $3 for it, why not? It's not such a big uh, price, uh, such a, an expensive uh, price for what it is. It was a lot of fun, but if you really wanna see what it looks like and how I apply it and all that good stuff, keep on watching. So today I'm ready to try the Yes to Tomatoes Clear Skin Impurity Fighting DIY Powder to Clay Mask. I got this baby at Dollar Tree and uh, it seems like it comes with all the things you need to use the mask except for water, which I have here. Obviously, it wouldn't, it wouldn't come with water, but it has like a little tray and a little spoon. So, you know, the, um, all for affordable fun because to me, this is a lot of fun. And let's open it. Woo! And see what we have inside all right so let me make sure we're on focus yeah this is so little though oh my god I thought it was gonna be larger I don't think you need more than this to uh, for a face mask anyways but for some reason I was envisioning like the mask to be the size of the whole packaging what what was I thinking all right, there. Is that how you open it? Am I supposed to open it more? No, I don't think so. Okay, I did read the instructions, but let's read them together so you know um, what's going on here. So you're supposed to open uh, the bowl inside, open the powder sachet and place powder in the bowl, add water to the line, which there is a line right here and then um, mix to create a clay and to customize it says to add uh, things for uh, desired extra benefits so they have yogurt and honey for extra moisture for vitamins c and e um, boost you can use bananas you can also to soothe the skin use aloe vera you can uh, help nourish with avocado and reduce redness with green tea and you know what i forgot to bring it here i will use honey because why not i think it's uh fun and uh, it's natural honey is great i used to mask my face all the time with just honey so i'll be right back i'm gonna get the honey and let's get going all right so I had very, very little honey, uh, therefore I turn it upside down. This is Lipton's, Lipton's Orange Blossom Honey, pure, all natural, grade A, US grade A fancy. I don't know anything about honey, but my husband buys good stuff for the most part, and he got this. So I'm going to go ahead and follow the instructions. So this is the little packet that comes with the powder. Let's, uh, does it say to add powder first or first the water? Uh, open the bar. Add water. Let's first add the water. This is like filter water also for extra pureness. All right, that was pretty good. Yeah, I say I'm right there. Okie doke, next thing. Uh, is there any lines, any marked? I'm gonna try here, no. No, yeah, okay, all right. Oof. Oh, 
All right, so, oh my God, it got darker. Sorry guys, the sun comes in and out. All right, time to add the honey. If you see rainbows, is that I have a rainbow maker and it just spins and projects rainbows all around. So you might see them. It is a little messy, so we start talking about fresh, fresh, fresh. First impressions, um, sorry, it's a little dark. It's a little messy, I would say, like it starts getting around the edges and you feel it's gonna come off. Um, and it smells okay, actually. It has, in my opinion, a pleasant, a pleasant scent. And now it's mixed with the scent of honey, which I'm going to start uh, stirring in, and then you'll see my face, and I'm gonna put it all over. Okay, sorry for the state of my face. Uh, this is what we're dealing with today. I'm off, no makeup. Um, so I'm gonna be honest, it looks nasty, look at that. Okay, let's see. You know what it looks like to me? It totally looks like cat food. Can cat food. Good smelling cat, can cats, cat food. But still, nonetheless, uh, I was expecting it to blend better, but it's a little chunky, to be honest. So I don't know if that's the way, if I didn't do it correctly, or, or if that's the way it's supposed to be. But let's go ahead and apply it. I'm gonna start looking at my viewfinder because that will be my mirror. And I don't want to make a mess. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh God, I already dropped a bit. So, and I'm doing it as indicated with the, the little spoon that comes with the mix. And it's nice and cooling. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. All right. For the sake of beauty and a day of relaxing, this is what I'm doing. Oh man. As usual, I think it's gonna be way too much product for what I need. And that is kind of a shame because I could probably do two applications with the contents, but since I mixed the whole thing, now I'm gonna throw some product away. Oh, this is so messy. I'm totally using my fingers, you guys. Don't judge. And you know what? The thing is, as you press, at least the, the lumps, the, the, the little, the parts that didn't get mixed well, kind of disappear a little bit. Oh yeah, this is much better. I'm getting it on my hair. What a messy application, you guys, but we're rolling with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, lo I love the way that my fingers are kind of pressing it, the, the lumps. The instruction says to leave it on for 10 to 20 minutes. I love always going the extra time and I will do 20 minutes of this. So after those 20 minutes, I'll check in with you and we'll see how I feel about this whole experience. A little update here. Oh my God, it got really dry and it's crackling, or it feels like it's crackling. Um, what else can I say? No unpleasant feelings. I've tried one before. I don't know why, I've had the feeling lately like some masks make me feel like my skin is burning. And it never happened before, but it happened with several masks, uh, clay masks in particular. So I was very afraid, but no, this was beautiful. As a matter of fact, when I first applied it, it was so silky. I don't know if it was uh, because I added the honey or if it's just the way the, 
the uh, clay was, but it felt really good. Now it doesn't though because it's all like breaking apart and it's super, super <laughs> hard. So we're gonna remove it and then we'll come back with final thoughts. So here's a little update. I'm back, I uh, removed the mask. And uh, so I haven't put any moisturizer in yet and I do feel like I need it, but the mask didn't feel overly drying. Again, maybe I shouldn't have added the honeys because now I cannot tell whether it was the honey that I uh, helped, that I helped, that helped, or the mask itself, it is uh, nourishing. You know, I don't really believe in miracle products. I don't expect too much. I didn't expect too much. I don't know that I can really, really, really tell if uh, this mask this did anything, but I, right after, right now, it feels nice. The pores feel reduced, like it really uh, shrink them, uh, evened out. The skin feels really smooth. It, um, yeah, it feels like if I needed now to go and do my makeup, everything would like just apply beautifully. So that is my impression. Another thing is that I decided to um, put in a little Tupperware and the remaining of the mask because I, I was like, really, there's no way I could have used the whole thing. So I decided to go ahead and put it in a little Tupperware. I, it's in my fridge right now. So probably like in three days, I'll hopefully we'll see if it's still there. I'm gonna go ahead and use it once again. And maybe, um, maybe if I have any new thoughts, I will let you know. So that's it. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I will be posting um, more reviews on the other masks that they offer. I was able to get my hands on, I wanna say five different type of masks. Some of them are uh, for uh, during the nighttime, basically sleeping masks. Um, so yeah, I will start recording my experience with all of them and maybe make a playlist or something, but you'll see them in the future. So if you liked it, give me a thumbs up so I know uh, that you'll be back and watch the rest. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in my next one.